curbside, why would you promote somebody early? Well, you know what? Not everybody competes. Maybe you have somebody older. Maybe you have somebody that's maybe not necessarily um, going to be a great jiu-jitsu practitioner. Um, but they've embraced the whole jiu-jitsu lifestyle, and they're a better person for it. They've changed their health, their, their attitude. They, they love it. They're a good teammate. Um, they do a lot of things, and they put in a lot of time. They, they've showed a lot of dedication. Well, you know what? A blue belt's not a black belt. So maybe that person does get bumped up, but they're not submitting everybody. I can't submit all the white belts, but yet get promoted to blue belt. That can happen. Um, or maybe somebody shows up and they're kind of lackadaisical. You know, they, they do their time and they like jujitsu, but they need a little kick in the pants maybe to be motivated a little bit. Uh, maybe um, having that blue belt and the white belt's looking at you saying, hey, <laughs> you know, there's a blue belt, maybe I can submit them. You know, having a target on your back sometimes will kick you in the pants and motivate you. So maybe that's a reason. You know, you're almost there. You're right there. You're not like light years away from being the promoted. But maybe let's give it a little bit early to maybe get that person on the right track and make them take it a little more seriously. Because when you're a blue belt, you really don't want to be losing to the white belts. So those are a couple of things to think about.